Hi guys, welcome to Simon's Talk. My name is Denzel Swartz and I'm the brand ambassador at Simon's Wines. And with me today, I have the beautiful tasting room manager, Tanya, uh, who will talk with us through the wines. Now, just to start off, Simon's Talk was the first farm to produce a Method Cup Classic, according to the French method of producing champagne. And that was in 1971. So essentially next year, we'll be celebrating 50 years of the first Method Cup Classic in South Africa. Now, Cap Safonkel, as the name implies, uh, is just saying that it's Cape Town's sparkle. Now, what best to have during this time where we are so distant from one another and we need to be on lockdown, but at least we're not shut down. So, Tanya, the two wines that we have here is the Cap Safonkel Brut and then also the Cap Safonkel Satin Nectar Rosé. Uh, so, will you talk us through these two wonderful wines? Certainly, Denzel. So first up, we'll be starting with the Corps of Pompo Brut Rosé. From here, you can see we've got a beautiful salmon hue color, and this one is a blend of Pinotage and Pinot Noir. So this spends about 18 months inside the bottle with the yeast, so you'll still be able to pick up on those biscuity notes on the nose, but you'll also pick up on that beautiful freshness of raspberries coming through. Once you have a sip. Beautiful notes of cranberry, more red berry fruit, and it's so fresh and crisp, very inviting, and it still ends up with that beautiful biscuity note towards the end. Such a decadent wine, and you can enjoy this one with your favorite sushi, or even an oily fish like salmon, it goes really well. With even your spice of Thai dish goes really well. Well, for me, the, the uh, Brut Rosé is one of those wines that even if you don't want to have it with food, it's just so inviting and easy drinking. So definitely, well, it's you and hubby at home, or even you alone, enjoy the whole bottle. <laughs> Tanya, talk us through this lovely um, Satin Nectar. The Satin Nectar Rosé is one of Simon Sir's uh, latest releases. It only joined us in July of 2019. So we're very proud of this one, especially because it recently won the first demi sec category in the Amorum Cup Classic Challenge, which is great news for us. And of course, you can look at this beautiful uh, candy floss color, almost very beautiful. And you can see from this, it's gonna be a decadent wine. This one is a blend of Pinot Noir, also Pinotage, and tiny bits of Pinot Meunier. And in terms of flavor, we'll have more of that um, beautiful, sweeter, plummy characters coming from the Pinotage, but you'll also pick up on pink peach, and then still some of that delicious fresh strawberry characters that we long for in that beautiful blush characters coming out. Now I know a lot of you might be saying, but I don't like it then, like it's too sweet. This wine is beautiful balance. It is not very over or overly sweet, the wine is a very nice balance be between the sweetness and the lovely sort of drier finish on the palate. Uh, definitely a wine to enjoy. So if you have a slightly sweeter tooth, this would be the wine for you. So no reason to say that I don't like dry bubbles. Here we have something beautiful and lastly um, sweet and inviting. We have 21 days to make the most of it and why not make the most of it and add some sparkle to your life. Tanya, thank you.